your favorite podcast. It's full coverage with these two fools. We have Hi, you guys. Me and Amy Way. And Laura Lean with the Rock with it. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys doing, you guys? It's been so, I feel like it's been so long because we went out of town. That's why. We went out so of town. So it felt like it's been a long time. Time since we filmed. And we're back. And we're back. And that's that. And we're back in the we're studio. Actually, you know what I was thinking about doing? We were thinking about doing. For the next episode, we wanted to do a little deep dive on the on the branch and talk about the highs and the lows. Mm -hmm. Remember mm -hmm. that one thing that happened with me with uh, <laughs> at the lunch? I laughed so hard, but yes. Like, yes. We, like that's a moment for the pod. That's a great pod moment. That's a great pod moment. So I think we should do definitely in the next episode, like a deep dive. How was the branch trip in comparison to other branch trips? Yep. Kind of do a little. A little deep dive on that. Yeah, a so little motion look, in the ocean. Look forward to that next week. Mm -hmm. Because this week we have to talk about some rapid fire. Y'all, some stuff has gone down. Mr. And Adam? Mr. Adam Levine, honey, you got caught up. You got caught up like so heavy and not just by one person. But, uh-oh. There's multiple. They're all, all the girly pops are coming out now. It's like wild that there's that many. There's, there's we have plenty of stories. The August Alcina. Yep. Nighttime chicken. Tori, not. The NyQuil chicken is what's taking me out. It's taking the me cool out of the game. Taking it's taking me, me out. out of the game. Um, a bunch. We got a lot going on, but mm -hmm. first what I want to start with is what's your peak or pit? <gasps> okay, I'm start with my peak because my pit okay. is a little bit longer. All right. And it's like my pit is, it's kind of a doozy. Ooh. So I'm We excited. love a doozy. We love a doozy <laughs> for the pits, but for the peak, I thought it was really, like, this just made me like scream. Okay, so I went out the other night with some friends and I drove, so I parked my car and I was about to walk over to the thing. So I parked my car, I got out of the car. There's this like kind of like low rider car driving right behind me. And the guy like, er, like stops like as he's going to the parking lot. He's like, hey. And I was like, hey. And I turned around, I was like, hey. And he's like, you got a fat ass. Oh. And I was like, oh, thanks. Like, thank you. I appreciate it. He's like, he's like, you dating anyone? And like the guy, so the guy wasn't like cute literally at all. Uh oh. Not my type at all. Like okay. literally it was a hard zero for me, to be oh, honest. No, but man. so oh. I was like, Oh yeah, like I'm seeing someone right now, even though I'm like I'm not like technically like dating. you were letting them down easy. I was, it was a, a nice softer letdown. Yeah. Um. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm kind of like seeing someone right now, and he's like, well, like, like, are you guys gonna get married? <laughs> and <laughs> and like, it was like, and it's funny. So I'm talking this because he's like this like Mexican guy, right? And mm -hmm. like as a Mexican myself, I love that little like he's doing like this, like the way like the, like the cadence yeah. in which like you know a lot of Mexicans speak in. So. I was like, hey, well, are you going to be in with him forever or what? And I was like, uh, <laughs> no, I don't know. And he's like, well, give me, give me your number then. Oh, my God. And I was like, no, I can't. Like, I really can't. But like, I'm like, at this point, I'm kind of cheesing because he's like so confident about it. Right. Even though he's not cute. He's like so. His confidence is going places. The confidence is getting him to a spot where it's like cuter to me. Yeah. Because I was like, you know, I was like, no, I can't. And so I was like kind of like parking my car and walking away. And he was like. He's like, I'm gonna eat your ass one day, though. Oh my! And I was God. like, wait, what? That just went from zero to to hundred because it was like from this like confidence to this like, okay, well, like just you wait, I'm gonna eat that ass one day. And okay. I was like, okay, right. And I literally like busted out laughing so fucking hard. And then you gave him your number. I didn't. Yeah, you did. I didn't you because did. I was like, okay, I'm literally truly not into him. But the confidence it made me just kind of feel like a little bit of a boost. Yeah. Because of my pit. See. It boosted me because of my what my pit is. It boosted me. I was like, oh my God, like, I'm still like, I'm cute. Uh, well, uh, duh, Danny. <laughs> I know, but How sometimes like, you? I don't feel like that, it's of course. Good. It's good to have the random reinforcements. It was a random, and you know, the thing is like, I, being a guy, like, I haven't really ever been like catcalled. And I know that's mm. like definitely like a huge thing. And I know it's very uncomfortable too, like for a lot of women who like deal with that and, you know, men too, but it's never happened to me before. Oh. So I wasn't really like. I didn't even know what it was until I realized I was like, oh, like, I think he's just like cat calling me. You're kind of like, like, hey, mamacita, what's up? Like, yeah. but with like, to me, yeah. you know, as like another guy. And I was kind of like, I was flattered by it. Right. And I wasn't like, you know, he was like driving by. So I didn't really like care that much, but I can only imagine like that happening to me constantly. I'd probably be like, oh, like literally stop. Yeah, like, okay, like, like that, like I would be would overwhelmed. Ignore like I would ignore pissed. it. Yeah, yeah. Be mad, and be mad, but because it was like a one-time thing and it was just kind of like, it was like a confidence booster in a way. So Definitely. I don't know if like, if like, I, I don't know if people out so there, cute. right? Yeah, I think I it's was so like, cute. can you still be catcalled and feel like confident by it, or is it kind of annoying? 
Like as a woman, like have you, um, have you, have you been catcalled? When I you been catcalled? do not get catcalled a lot. <laughs> so I got I got hit Listen. on the other day at Tender Greens. I was leaving, <laughs> and the guy held the door way too long uh-huh. for me, so I knew he was gonna say something. Like the vibe was Laura there. Laura always gets hit on, by the way. No, I don't. Yes, you do. And he was like, "Damn, you look fine," and I was like. I didn't even look at him. I just kept walking. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, so, so do you just keep going? You're just like, you're like, fuck him. Like, but I see, literally me, didn't even bat an eye. I was just like, because what am I going to do? I have exactly. no you're words mar- to say. Too, I don't even like, want to say thank you, honestly. And I told myself, I was like in a little bandeau and, I, and shorts. And I was like, you should wear a shirt <laughs> before you go in. And it was hot. So I was like, I'm was not going to. And then that happened. And I was like, should have wore the shirt. <laughs> See, like for me, so when I heard it, I was kind of like, yeah. But so, like when you, I heard you, you just like kept it going. I mean, listen, moving. if it was like Brad Pitt himself, I'd be like, well, well, thank <laughs> you. you. How you doing? Yes. But it wasn't, so I just kept it moving. It's like such a, it is such a fascinating thing because I know, like, I obviously don't know a ton about getting catcalled or anything because yeah. I never have really in my life. But I know like that's such a thing for women to like, I fucking hate that shit. Like, guys don't, love to do it. guys love to they do love it. They love to do and, it. And like, it's like, I don't really know that dynamic as, as much. I did I just, have I tried one more whenever we went to Joey's, but that was like a silent oh, catcall. Oh, honey, that was like, come on now. <laughs> That was like, I want you now. That was, I had to run out of the restaurant. That was, you had to run before they were going to run after you. Yeah, like you were a gazelle and they were lying. It's kind of like whenever a guy buys you a drink, you got to make a run for it because they've now done something and they kind of feel like you should talk to them, back. you know, a little flirtatious or something back. And I'm just like, also not interested. But I did eat the dessert with you guys. And we all shared in that dessert. We shared. And it was nice because it was literally like three guys and you. Yeah. And so we got that dessert because of you. I do what I can for my friends and And you really and contributed in that time. My ass was out there that time. Remember? But you were like in mesh. Yeah, I was in it mesh. It wasn't even like you were like ass out for Harambe. And, and the like, outfit was like cute. Like not yes, like sexy, it was like sexy. A vibe. Yeah, yeah. So. So yeah, so I got, I got cat called and I kind of lived for it. You know, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm sure if it happens a ton, I'd probably be like, okay, like stop. But for now, in my one of my first experiences, like it kind of was like nice to hear that someone thought i was attractive so outwardly i love that i was proud of it almost like being like yeah you're fine and i'm gonna eat that ass and i was like oh, wow and you're like yes you are <sighs> yes you are sir. yes sir you are <laughs> I literally felt, i'm like over. are you gonna eat my ass right now like i literally because i was like no i'm not into you but i'm like you saying you're gonna do it are you because you might he might he might he might because do if it. you tell me what you're gonna do you cut do to it. manny next week on peak and pit he, he ate my, my ass, ass. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so that was my my little peak i love it uh, well my peak this week has to do with middle my lab i'm like being loud as i possibly can i don't know why but um middle my lab. There, Philby. yeah i'm like they're wow. filming next door and i'm over here screaming Minim. um trying to get that branding in their video <laughs> on, their- on their on their podcast as well as ours <laughs> on the platicas podcast on the platicas yes. Um, so Minimum LA, we're doing right now today. You guys can go to minimumla.co and we did our second drop. So I'm so excited. We, it's like happening. It's, it's Minimum happen. LA drop too. It's, it's like happen. your brand. Oh, drop. yes. So this time the exclusive item is the winter scrunchie socks, mm, which everyone's obsessed I with. I can't thank wait God. to literally get those. And the um leggings. We came out with leggings for fall and they're the exact same material like as our biker shorts. Like mm-hmm. they go right in line with our biker shorts for their leggings. I've, I've worn the same pair for two days in a row and they're gross. I really need to oh, not wear them. Like not showered. Nope. I wore them all day at the photo shoot, and then I wore them all day today. I so, did. Yeah, so you're, you can't you're get me fresh. out of them. They're so comfy. I mean, honestly, when like when you just have that article of clothing, like for me, it's with me, it's like workout sweats. Like I'll yeah. wear workout sweats literally all the time. <sighs> Obsessed. I can't not wear them. Like they're so comfortable and breathable. These are so good, and we also dropped um like forty items that are not um exclusive right so are, boutique yeah, clothing boutique. items so a ton of cute flannels shackets button downs it's time for fall and all and yeah and another peak so i've had and it, everybody's like you don't have an assistant you know and i'm like well i do but she's more of a she's gone beyond an assistant now 100 percent. like passed. she's way past an assistant mm-hmm. she started i started as an assistant and i've had her for seven years and now she handles way more than just assistant stuff mm-hmm. so um 
I'm about to interview for a second assistant, but she will be an, an actual, actual assistant. like doing assistant work yes. rather than the big stuff. Yep. So that's another like oh, that's so exciting adventure. That's gonna be Someone so great. that I really enjoy working with actually reached out to me and said I would love to like be your assistant. No way. Yes, and like so it's it, perfect for being my assistant. It's you will work in my home, so it's like I have to know you at some capacity. Yep, yep. Just if it was and more at work, who cares, you know? But like if you're gonna be in my home and in my personal business. It's like, I would like to know the person at some capacity and like, I'm not from here. So it's like, I don't have a lot of friends that are like, I've known since childhood mm -hmm. or like, I have no family members here that right. could, you know, do those jobs. Right. So it's kind of scary and hard. I just got lucky with my first girl. Mm -hmm. I, I interviewed her and like, I can read a vibe so hard, quickly, very quickly and accurately and the way she didn't give a shit about who I was or like what I like. She cared about what I do, but like she didn't care about who I was. She wasn't a fan. She was like, yeah. I'm here to do this job. I was mm -hmm. like, that's my girl. And she's been with me for seven years. So. Exactly. So it was clearly worth it. Clearly worth it. So, that. yeah, that's, that's such another. A nice thing. Hopefully all goes well. That'll be a pit. It's time. Honey. No, not that. That'll be a peak. <laughs> I like, I that'll not. be I a not. peak. But That's it's peak. time. It's That's time. exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I also have an amazing employees here. Manny knows them. Oh, literally, Are they not like, the greatest? I'm actually, a, and you know who I'm obsessed with. Yeah. Like, I love yeah. her. Yeah. Like, I, I've maybe spoken four words to her ever, <laughs> but it's her energy. She is amazing energy. I love her energy. I love her vibe. I just love everything about her. Yeah. And I don't have to know her to know I love her. Yeah. I can just speak three words to her and know you're the one. You're the one. And like, you're my favorite employee. And I don't really know anything about you. Well, Manny has his favorite. And I have my favorite. You know, you know, but. And you know, maybe if I got to know her, she wouldn't be my favorite. No, so she I probably knew. would. She would, huh? Yeah. I fucking knew it, dude. We have such amazing people. We're very lucky. You're like, you have such a great, great, great We're really here. lucky. Like, honestly. Yep. So the team is growing. The team is growing and the tea is hot. The tea is hot, honey. I need to put chapstick on before I go into my pit. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break. Give me a second. And Manny and Miwe is gonna put on chapstick and we'll be right back after this. Now word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. You guys, honestly, I cannot invest more into anything else other than myself. And I feel like when it comes to therapy, online therapy, that is the biggest investment you can make on yourself. The thing I like most about BetterHelp is how accessible it is. I was talking mm -hmm. to someone the other day and they were talking about one visit to their therapist that their insurance doesn't cover is $500. So like, what? yeah. You're kidding. So like two visits is a thousand dollars. Like that's so crazy. So I feel like the great thing with BetterHelp is that one is like easy to do because it's not in person. You can do it like at mm -hmm. any time. You can get scheduled really quick with a therapist. But two, it's like more accessible and it's just like more affordable i feel like the affordability is such a huge thing for people and like especially in times like this like yeah. where they're so uncertain like spending that extra money can be really really tough so you know yeah. taking a second for yourself and investing it back into yourself is so important and doing that with better help online which is way you know less expensive than the alternative is such a great option and it's just truly if you want to be more confident less stress right everything Put investment in your mind. So mm -hmm. another cool thing about BetterHelp is you can get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and you can switch therapists at any time. So when you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash full coverage today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash full coverage. Thank you, Case to Five, for sponsoring this portion of Full Coverage. You guys, I've had a Case to Five phone case on my phone for over two years now. I my, love. And my phone has never broken. Not You know what? Not even a shattered screen. Like, Not literally even a nothing. shattered screen. And you drop screen. your shit often, often. Let me tell you that. And my phone never has problems, honey. I, you know what I really, really love about Caseify is the fact that they have the Eco Shock Protection Tech, which yes. is so cool. 20% more protective and just as slim as the previous styles. I feel like most protective phone cases are like so annoying and mm -hmm. bulky, but these are not cute. Yeah, or and not cute. And they have like an endless range of prints, designs, collabs, and they have five times the military standard. Mm. It withstands up to 130 drops. <laughs> I'm like, I've definitely insane. dropped mine more than 100. Uh, uh, 
hundred percent. I think that you dropped it a thousand. Um, and you know the fact that they're sustainable truly is like so iconic. Sixty five percent recycled and plant based material in the cases. Isn't that freaking awesome? So cool. You guys have to check out Case Buy. They also have watch bands and different tech accessories. You can get one of the most protective, cool looking, environmentally friendly phone cases the internet has to offer. Get fifteen percent off and use code full. That's fifteen percent off at Casetify.com with the code full or use our link in the description. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> Chapstick's on and water's drunk. He's hydrated. Mm -hmm. He's I'm hydrated, hydrated inside and out. Cause I had to be hydrated for the story because it's a little bit of a longer story for my um, pit. Manny did graze over the story with me it a little did. bit. And I, I want you guys to grab the popcorn because it's a doozy. It's a doozy. <sighs> okay, guys. So listen, I decided to go out the other night with friends. Mm -hmm. There was four of us. I'm going to do, you know what I'm going to do to protect their anonymity? I identity. Identity. It's we're gonna say friend A and we're saying friend B okay. and Gabriel because we were on snaps we together know Gabby. and we know, we Ga know Gabby. Gabriel so we were like literally on social media together. That Gabby's we went not out. part of the drama. Gabby's really. not part of yeah. it really. It's you know friend A and friend B. So friend A, the reason he's friend A is because he's the one that has the X. Okay. So just a preface that for now. So I went out. So these friends I have, they're more of like more recent friends that mm -hmm. we've kind of like I've kind of started hanging out with and. You know, they're fantastic. I literally love them so much. And it's so fun to actually have like more gay friends because mm -hmm. that was something I was missing a lot from San Diego. Yeah. Because I, you know, had a ton of friend, gay friends in San Diego and now I'm in LA, it didn't have as many. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have them. So one of my friends, friend A, has a really, really intense, wild, tumultuous relationship with his ex-boyfriend who was with him for years, right? Right. So they were together for years. And by the way, the first night... I met this friend yep. A. Mm -hmm. The ex is brought up and he goes, Oh, you're a Virgo. And I was like, Yeah. And he was like, My ex is a Virgo and he's crazy. Virgo men are different though. They are. Virgo men are different. Virgo they women. Are. Someone tell J Lo kiss. this. Someone tell yes, J Lo. You're right. I think Virgo, she got burnt by a Virgo man. She did. Because Virgo women are A1. Yes. Virgo thank men. you. Thank you. Give or take. Give or take. So, yeah. So, friend A even brought up to Laura, like, oh my God, I have a crazy ex. <laughs> so, we've, so when I've gone out with my friends, these friends before, the first time I had like went out with them, literally, the ex we had ran into them at one of the bars, beelined it for him and was like talking to him. And it was kind of like an awkward situation because they were kind of like bickering. And I was like, that's so weird. That was the first inter interaction that was just kind of like awkward. Yeah. But I was like, whatever, girl, it's like, it's your ex. Second time, me and Gabriel were out. This is not happened with friends A and B. So me and Gabriel went to the Lady Gaga concert like a couple weeks ago. Okay. So we ended up going out after. Okay. And at the club, the fr the the ex was there. And I know the ex because I obviously had seen him, what he looked like. And he was like glaring holes into my body. Like, <gasps> and I knew because, but I'm not going to, I'm not looking at him. Like, yeah, I literally just like, know he's like it. literally staring at me. He's uh, also like 5'4". <laughs> Five five. He's like the smaller guy, right? That's and I'm how like tall six feet. No, literally, <laughs> Laura. I think he might be shorter than you. Oh shit! Swear to God. Um, and I'm just like saying, I'm like a bigger guy, like yeah. in comparison. So I like kind of like knew that he was there staring at me, and I was like, this again is an uncomfortable, awkward Did you situation. Think about beating his ass for staring at you. I didn't because I literally was like, this fucking weirdo needs to stop staring at me because I know he knows who I am. I don't think you've ever Renee. thought about beating someone's ass. I literally in your am life. like, I'm not gonna imagine him like he's staring at me. I'm gonna beat his ass. <laughs> literally bust out laughing <laughs> that's so like i'm you guys i'm the literal like least like aggressive fighty aggressive confrontational person. kind of person i'm very like go with the flow really really chill and like i have a very long fuse so yeah. like things for me are not bad yeah so now that i've gotten the prefaces out of the way yep let's go and talk about what happened you last built week. character you built their character up now that we nicely. built it to what it is we're envisioning we are, yeah do we have a vision going on now like we, we have a vision a good board vision a vision board Literally, so I'm out with my friends. I'm with Gabriel, friend A, and friend B, right? Okay. So we're at this bar. I'm walking with friend A and friend B and Gabriel behind walking like this. And we're just like walking through because it's like really crowded. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like a vibe we're living. I turn around, X. Oh, no. Beelining it He's for friend everywhere. A. His ex. I'm like, bitch. 
how does this bitch keep fucking popping out of everywhere? Does he live in West Hollywood? He must. I Honestly, think. he fucking must. He must go must. out every night. He must. So I was like, motherfucking fuck. Bean lines it. Pushes Gabriel and uh, friend B too. Like kind of like moves him aside to beeline it to friend A. And I was like, oh. what the hell? Goes right past me and was like, I need to talk to you. So friend A is literally like, get the fuck away from me. Like he's literally going off on his ex because it's like, how could you not? Like at this point, it's like he's literally- mad. He's mad. He's like, dude, you like, you have to stop. Like, this is actually crazy. Like, you promised you would never come up to me at a place again. And here you are, like, hounding me. Like, literally, the friend is certifiable. Do you think he's, like, drunk, that. too? I think I'm sure he's drunk. And I'm sure that adds to it. Or, like, yeah. maybe he's adds on something. The fire. It adds to it, I think. So, they're literally, them two are at the bar, right? So, they're at the bar. And they're literally, like, screaming at each other <gasps> at this point. And I go to friend B. And I'm like, oh. <sighs> Do we like intervene? Like, what do I do? Like, I'm so like, I didn't know what to do because it's like this is time number three that getting we have aggressive. these weird. It's getting like wild, and it seems to kind of keep progressing in a way from time one to this time. It's like more intense. He's getting like more comfortable he's, acting up in the club. He's getting more comfortable acting his, up. Yeah. So I'm like kind of like I'm like, do we do anything? He's like, no. Honestly, like he'll say something if he needs like reinforcements. I'm like, what, he'll wave David, a flag. What? Yeah, he'll wave a flag. No. Whatever. He'll do something. I'm like, perfect. So I'm at, we're at this place and I'm getting recognized like a bunch. Wow. So I'm like, okay, work. So I'm like kind of turning around, doing things like taking photos with people, like just talking to people and having like a mingling time. I turn around, friend B and X are embraced, no. if you will. Like literally friend B is holding on to the X, like arms down like, mm. like this. And he's like in his ears, like don't fucking touch me. Like literally kind of going off on the X. And I'm like, whoa, what, like what happened in that time? That I was like not there. Escalation. An escalation had happened. It escalated to more of a physical situation. So Gabriel's like getting to the bar turn. He's like, yo, come get this bitch. Uh, like, come get this bitch right now. Gabby come get said, Gabby said, what's that TikTok round Round up the round up. up. So, and me too, I'm like, this little one right here, the little one. And I'm literally like, now I'm kind of like, yeah, right here, the little crazy one. Gotta go. So, me and Gabriel walk up to him and friend B, because I'm like, this is like literally getting crazy. He like kind of turns around and like kind of like scurries away. And the the security's like, and we're like, oh. that one right there. And I'm literally like, that little one right there. Gotta go. Get him. Get him. So then I, we find out from friend B, like we go to the corner and I'm like, bitch, what the fuck? That, that was crazy. And he's like, he pulled my hair. <gasps> and I'm like, what? <laughs> he literally pulled his hair. Like, what do you mean? Just like, like he tried, he's like, <laughs> who pulls someone's hair? This is where I, this is why I'm like, you're joking. And he's like, no, he literally pulled my hair. Stop. And I was like, this can't be real. So friend B saw like another friend, they were talking and I'm like, you know, with Gabriel and friend A. And I'm like, dude, that was fucking crazy. Like my heart's like kind of pounding a little bit because it was just so much like the arguing, the yelling, the screaming, the security. I would have loved the to pulling, be there. Just a witness. To witness To this. see it. So then I'm like, this is crazy. And we're kind of like a little triangle, you know, kind of going on. I turn around. Oh, hell no. It's the ex. No. Laura, it's the fucking ex walking up <laughs> He's to me. He's always there. It's, it's me, Gabriel, friend A. So imagine like a little triangle. triangle. And it's me and Gabriel first. So, so then now, like as he's walking to me, I something came over me because I was already like on a good one. I was like, You'd no. So I literally was like, no. <gasps> no, absolutely not. You tell him don't even. I said, don't even fucking try. I literally, he came up and he was like, and I was like, no, no, no. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing, dude? And so I started getting like kind of pissed off. What if he pulled your <laughs> What if he was like, <laughs> what would you like, have done? What honestly, you... I probably would have stopped him. Okay, that's like good, realistically. Good like, honestly, like knowing me, yeah. now I would have done that. So I'm like, no, 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 no. And he's like, move away. I need to talk to my ex. And I'm like, he's your ex for a reason. And who is this? I and who is this? Or I literally don't know who Clapping this was. I was I was just coming out because he kind of like was like trying to get around me, but he's like kind of he's smaller, yeah. right? He's a smaller guy, and he's kind of like trying to look around me. And then now it's like kind of me and Gabriel like this wall <laughs> between our friend Him. A and the and, ex, yep. and we're kind of like doing this, and we're like. Uh, Hold and he's on, like, let me talk to him right now. Gabby? Gabriel is also like, what the fuck is going? We're both like so just confused. Okay. And so then he starts like, let me talk to my ex right now. And then so Gabriel's like, or what? What are you gonna do? <laughs> So then so, since Gabriel's starting to kind of like do that, I'm like, yeah, what the fuck are you going to do? I start chiming in, dude. I start chiming in. So I'm like, no, 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 no. This bitch is not going to fucking be out here being like, yeah, like, kind of force us to do something. Like, what are right. you going to do about it? Right. Like we're right. too like much bigger than you guys. I weigh like probably double his weight. You've had your time. You've already had your, your moment. moment. You got kicked out of the club. You I don't know how the fuck you even got back in here. <laughs> How the, he weaseled his way in like a little rodent. He scurried in. You're going to go to bed and pull from your driveway. He's going to be he's there. He's there like this. Hey, 
I want to talk to my ex. It, literally. And I'm like, what are you gonna do about it? Like, no. So then he goes, he's like trying to like maneuver around us. And I'm like, you gotta get the fuck out of here. Honestly, yeah. like, it's getting crazy. So then he like looks over at friend A and he's like, I'm fucking done with you doing this. Like, I'm fucking done with you. And literally our friend A's like, I've been done with you, bitch. bitch like, get the fuck out of here. Like, I've, I've been trying to tell you, get out of my face. Yeah. Like this whole time, like, I don't want to talk to you. Like, literally get away from me. How long were they together? Five years. Oh, that's long. So it was a long time. I was like, mm, <laughs> a long time. Mm. But still, I don't yeah. give excuses for this no, kind of shit. Like, no, I don't give a no, fuck. No, 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 so no. then, so then, because me and Gabriel are like right there, like still guarding him, and he's like, fuck you, fuck you. He goes, Are you happy now with your influencer friends? <sighs> I take the that ex. as a compliment. And I was like, <laughs> and then of course, because I'm already like on a on, in the zone, I'm like, yeah, he is happy with his influencer friends now. And Good. I'm like, because and the funny thing is, with a friend A doesn't even post on Instagram. He hasn't even posted on Instagram in like two years. Like, yeah. he doesn't give a fuck. He literally has like a real job. Yeah, he's like, and he's not successful. Being friends with you guys. He's not clout. friends with us because he we're influencers. Even he doesn't use care. Instagram. Yeah, exactly. He's not doing it for those reasons. And so, um, I'm like. Yeah, he is happy with us. Like he's he has way better friends now, clearly, like kind of like in his face and a, a little bit. I was in his face, I'm not gonna lie. And so he's kind of like walking away now. And I would say he's like five feet in front of us. Mm -hmm. And and Gabriel's kind of doing the same thing. Where it's like, yeah, like we're like we're good. And I feel like stronger because Gabriel's next to me. And I'm like, of yeah, course. like we're a duo, you know? Like we feel like we're like this wall. You fight me. You, you fight, fight her him. too. Yeah. Fight her first, and then I'm coming in. That's I'm right. I'm jumping in. That's Don't hit right. Me. <laughs> Don't so then he's me. like five, he's like five feet away from me. And he goes, Laura. Oh no. Uh oh, this he's is five the doozy. feet in front of me. And he goes, enjoy being fat. <gasps> Manny he goes, enjoy saw being fat. red. When I tell you, I have not saw red like that since I was like 21 years old. Wow. Because the thing is, in in a social aspect, like being fat. You know, obviously, it's not a bad thing. Like whatever the fuck, like red type, but whatever. He was using but he was using it, it in a hurt you. He was doing it to hurt me yes, on purpose. He was using it in a way to make to, you like, feel bad you. about yourself. Yeah, to offend you. Yeah, he wasn't using it in the like, oh, like you're fat and Being, beautiful. Like, it was body positivity. No, no, no. There he was, was no body like, positivity. He's like, you, like basically, like you're a whale. Yeah, like you know. And I was like, and he's like already walking away, and we're and we're still talking. So I didn't realize he had even said that. And he said something to Gabriel too. He was like, and you enjoy being pretty or something like that. And I was like, why did he get the nice one? <laughs> what the fuck he, he literally was like and you enjoy being pretty did he just hit on and Gabby like, no <laughs> literally <laughs> hitting on Gabby while at, insulting me at the exact same time and he walked off and then I realized that like once he had already left I was like he just called me fucking fat and Gabriel was like yeah he did yeah he fucking did and he called me pretty and I'm like that is Whoa. so strange I told Manny I've, when he told me this, I was like, I genuinely feel, well, one, you're in the best shape of your life. I've never been in a better shape than I have been right now. Okay. Which is why I'm like, And that's wait. why I was like, don't you dare take this personal because this guy was clearly looking to say something that he thought would upset you or right. to get a rise out of you or to leave you pissed off. And like, that's what he went for. I agree. And like, I think it's hard for me because since I was young, I've, not knowing that this is that I had like body dysmorphia, mm -hmm. like because when I was younger, I had it, but didn't know what it was called until like obviously recently, like you find out more. And it's like, oh, whenever I've looked in the mirror, I've always saw someone bigger than I actually was. And yeah. people are always like, oh, like you're fit. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Because yeah. in my mind, yeah. I don't feel that and right. I don't see that. Right. But so whenever someone tells me that, even though I know I'm more fit now, it goes back to this like younger version of me who felt like was big. Yeah. And was like, who felt like that was unhealthy and just like, wasn't comfortable. Like even me, like how many times have you seen me shirtless? In yeah. Friendship? Like, like five times. Yeah, maybe. Max. Yeah. You know, and it's like, I've just never been comfortable in my own body in that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. So when someone says, have fun being fat, enjoy being fat. Yeah. It like just hit me like a brick. Cause I was like, even though you're you literally just, a little bitch. You just pissed him off by when you were like, no, don't take your ass over here. No, yes. like you set him so, off. So he wanted, and to, he wanted to get a dig at you. Like he wanted to try to find something that would get you. And like, honestly, like I think that's more of a universal thing. If someone even like you could be literally the skinniest person in the world. Mm -hmm. And if someone says enjoy being fat to you in a derogatory to way, it's going to hurt. Yeah, it hurt. They, they, that's what they do. It. They want it to, you yeah, know, they want so, the, this thing. You know, obviously, I mean, I hope when he like wakes up in the morning and remembers what he did the night before, like, I hope he feels like shameful of his behavior. I mean, honestly, I would hope. And I, and so we had told, we like were, you know, after that, everything, like I was just like not in the mood anymore. Like I was like, I'm, 
I ended up staying out for maybe an hour more. Yeah. Um, but I was so like kind of out of it. Like I wasn't, I didn't feel like the same. Cause like, I just done. felt like off. I was done. Like I was like done with the night. I was like, I already feel like really uncomfortable. Even though like I was obviously trying to be like there for my friend and like be brave and want to do anything I could <laughs> oh to help. But like, I don't know. I think when you just hear something like that, you're just kind of like, okay, well, I'm kind of over this shit and yeah. uh, I'm ready to go like home. Like you fought with an asshole cry. all night for now. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to get ice cream. I'm going to ice cream I'm going home and I might cry. And I'm going to cry. And I'm going to get chocolate chip cookies from McDonald's. Yep. That's right. So that's how I felt. So that was probably my pit of the week. I would say that's that a moment. pit. I would, I would say, I would say so. I, that would guarantee is a pit, I would say, that for guarantee. me. And now it's, like, annoying because whenever you go out to the clubs, you're going to be like, Ugh, I hope I don't see that guy. You well, know the thing is, mean? that's the hard part for me because, like, I now that it's been, like, the third interaction with him, I'm like, it makes <gasps> me not want to go out. I know, You know right? what I mean? But I enjoy it so much with my friends that I'm like, I'm not going to let, like, him or this experience, like, prevent me from going out. Even though I felt, like, insecure in that moment at mm -hmm. least it'll prepare me for like if it happens again like yeah i feel like i'll be more prepared i just wasn't prepared in that moment for someone to say that to me like yeah. i just didn't like expect it um and you know it's funny like that a complete stranger can like hurt my feelings yeah but it kind of reminds like, you like who online cares what he thinks yeah I who, know. And who cares but like someone made a really funny tiktok and it was like if people talk to me in real life how they talk to me on the internet and like oh my god I really love your house I mean it's not for me like I would never have this in my house but it's cute it's cute or like you know like the backhanded compliments I mean it's just like the nasty or fucked up shit people say online yeah. it's like really jarring whenever you get it when you hear it in your life and it's like funny because you like I obviously for years just like you have have gotten hate forever and ever and ever yeah. and ever and it does affect you and it hurts but like when you also hear it in person it just hits a, little, a little different harder. it hits a little different it it's does. a little harder when I'm like god damn. isn't it sad that like a complete stranger whose opinion doesn't matter whatsoever like literally doesn't affect yeah. humans so much it's like crazy. we as humans let so much affect us and like it will sit with us you know it's just also like we all have like buttons right like yeah. everyone has like a button where it's like any like where it's like something that can just affect you personally that would not affect someone else. Mm -hmm. Like it could hurt your feelings more. I don't know. Than I feel like else's. it would almost hurt anyone deep down. Like I think so too. if someone I mean, like no one said that, that, like even if it doesn't for but for a minute, I think it's some like it would like it stung. Yeah, because it stung for. Yeah. Like, and then the next day, I literally was like whatever. But like that night, I was like that like hurt my feelings. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, but we're handling it. You know, the, the crew were handling it. We were holding it's down the fort. It's being dealt with. It's being dealt with. And, you know, we're going to go from there. But, yeah, that was something that was so jarring. I did Quite not expect. a doozy. It was a doozy. Wow. And also, like, for me, like, I'm not even, like, a fighter. Like, I'm not the type of person. No. But I was, like, even getting in his face. You Imagine if Daniel was there. Oh, oh hell. If Daniel was there, we would all have been in jail. Bodies would have flung. Jail. Heads will Everyone roll. Everyone would have been in Heads jail. Will roll. They would have come in and taken me out of my home and arrested no, me. And I'd be like, what? Yeah, I didn't even do anything. <laughs> literally, they would have put you out if in a stretcher. Daniel got involved. Daniel would have literally Honey, been in jail. Uh, yeah. Like 100%. Yeah. It, because it, of like how it, it would have escalated much, more. Much, much differently. Because at least, like, even though we were like on a good <laughs> one, we still like diffused. That's all I can think of whenever you were telling me this. I was like, well, thank God Daniel didn't go out with him that Because night. that would have been. That he's not, first of all, he's not even in town. <laughs> if he was in town, he would have been out with us, and that would have been a moment. <laughs> and that would have been the real moment. See, the thing is, but I don't want to kick it out of the club either. I'm that like, guy would have never fuck? messed with friend A ever. Never again. Ever again. Never again. He actually has it personally out for Daniel, though. He hates Daniel, by the way, because he thinks that Daniel and him broke him up. Oh! He thinks that Daniel and friend A broke up their oh, relationship. Oh, this is getting real rich. So he literally has a special hatred for Daniel Why is specifically. this spiraling? This it's is spiraling. literally like, I'm like, is this what like getting a friend group is? Does he is? Even know Daniel? Laura, no. <laughs> he doesn't lie. know him personally whatsoever. He, but... Because of, you know, everything tra transpired and being friends and all that stuff. He just thinks like, oh, well, friend A is in love with Daniel. Well, that's because Daniel's so pretty. Like, yes, he thinks yes. like there's is something it, oh, there's, going they're on. They're definitely fucking. Because there's definitely nothing going on. No, for sure. Like, literally, like, we're all Judy's. Like, all. we're all good girls. Like, I feel like, I feel like friend A treats all of you guys equally with what exactly. he treats Daniel. So. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like girl you're just like on your own high horse you're on right, a good one right so yeah so we're currently dealing with that so i'll let you guys know if any other situations have arise but right now we ha are dealing with the ex from hell well we're gonna take another break and we'll, we'll be, be right back, back. Your pit. 
Thank you so much to ZocDoc for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. Yes. Okay, guys. So here's the thing. We read reviews on everything. Restaurants we go to, Mm -hmm. stores we shop Mm -hmm. at. Products we're going to buy. So wouldn't it be amazing if there was one place you could go to for our reviews on the most important thing, doctors? Yes, like your actual health. Well, guess what there is. It's called ZocDoc. I think it's so genius for there to be a place to go where you can actually read reviews on doctors to see if they're going to align with you, you know, and it's actual real patients. And yes, yes, because they're real patients Mm -hmm. go on there and leave reviews with their experience in that doctor. So you're going to get real answers about what you're going to spend your time, money and insurance on before you go. And which is the most important thing to get a review on before you go is someone who's dealing with your health. I also love it because it's like basically like wherever you are, like in your network, in your neighborhood, you can find doctors that are around you. I think it's like really hard sometimes for me. Like I have to travel like 40 minutes to get to my doctors because I don't even know of any other spot around. Right. So I'm like, I think that for me, like that would be such a great thing to implement into my life is like, oh, let me find a doctor around that I vibe with well. I'm like, oh my God. And if he's gay, even better. <laughs> Amen to that. Amen. And you can go to ZocDoc. That's Z-O-C doc dot com to find the doctor that's right for you. ZocDoc is a free app that shows you doctors who are patient reviewed Take your insurance and are available when you need them. So if you guys want to go to ZocDoc.com slash full and download the ZocDoc app for free, then start your search for a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's ZocDoc.com slash full ZocDoc.com slash full. Thank you so much to Flip for sponsoring this portion of full coverage, you guys. So Flip is the latest beauty app that is shaking up the way you can shop for beauty and wellness, you guys. Imagine like shopping on Sephora, but the reviews are super detail oriented, like kind of how TikTok videos are with Amazon shipping. Oh my That's literally what Flip is. What a dream. Mm -hmm. So when you join Flip, you're joining a beauty rewards program. Yes. It's unmatched by any other. You can get rewarded for almost anything you do. Scrolling, shopping, voting, posting your own review, and also you get free shopping credits. I mean, the fact that you can, they literally have same day shipping, Z returns, white glove customer service. Like it's, um, like literally imagine like, as you're scrolling on TikTok, you see a review like, oh my God, I love this review, this product. I really want to buy it. And you can just, click a button and you buy it. That's what Flip is. That is such an amazing mm-hmm. app. Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. You guys, you can up your beauty shopping game with Flip. Download the Flip app for free today and save 30% on your first order with code FULL30. That's code FULL30 for 30% off your first order. Code FULL30 for 30% off your first Flip order. With my pit. Period. All right, my pit isn't that deep. You know, that's a hard story to follow. That, well, the, it's a hard pit. It, it was a hard pit to follow. But I was saving it. But I still got a little something. something. So my niece is um, a challenging child at times, <laughs> to put it best. Um, oh, you do it so nice. So Aaron has this belief system that life just happens and you don't do anything. Like right. things just kind of happen and they kind of mm-hmm. just fall into place and while that can be as true, a lot of kids do yeah a lot yeah. of kids have that that can be true in thing. certain scenarios but there are a lot of scenarios where you have to be proactive and you have to actually do things mm-hmm. to make things happen they don't just like come to you mm-hmm. so um aaron i guess assumed that you know one day she'd wake up and be enrolled in college and she uh, found out she has to apply yep. so late enrollment and then she, I guess she assumed you know that like dorms they just put you in a dorm yes you have to apply so she got to her dorm late because she didn't apply mm-hmm. and they said well there's no dorms left and she said okay well this is the only school that accepted me for my late enrollment so uh, now I have to find a place to live right and they said well you can stay in this temporary dorm for the ter- first two weeks of school while you look for a place yeah for an we also can put you on a wait list if something ends up but you're like number 11 on the wait list so just know like you need to be looking it's not high. It's not good luck. It's not it's not good. Right. Um, but you got two weeks. So she moves there and doesn't look for a place to live. Mm. Because she's like, oh, the wait her list. belief the wait is list. like, you know, it'll fall into place. Right. And right, see, right. I'm like, these are areas in your life where I've told you a million times, you gotta put some effort in there. Like you gotta get in there. Like it's really. not just a things will these fall into place. These are kind of like a big deal. Be. This is a bigger deal. So 
she informs us in the middle of the week. She's like, I got kicked out of my dorm today. And we're like, what? And she's like, yeah, my time was up. And I didn't find anywhere else to live. And turns out a dorm didn't open up. <laughs> she's like, so I'm coming home. Oh my yes! God. So yes. it's time for me to come back. And you and know, you oh, we're not just we're like, shook. we're not just like throwing her out there. We're just like, you need to figure it out. We're like constantly texting her and being yes. like, hey, make sure you're being looking. Being a resource to help. You know, let's remind Aaron, you know, like to do these things. Mm -hmm. And then they're just not happening. I know that like, I swear to God, like she spends like 90% of her day on TikTok. As most And it's going to be a sucky lesson and later in good. life when you realize you have to do more than that. Yeah. Like, so... I think I, I think she's she just has some hard lessons to learn and this is like a new experience for her and like mm -hmm. she's definitely lived a good life with me and Ty even though we have given her tons of responsibilities right like this is time for her to pick up the pace this is her most like it's like when you're in college and you're not living at home college that's like the most self-sufficient you ever have to be right in a way like yeah like to you're, start uh, the biggest change so far yeah in her life so she's definitely struggling with it as i assume she would mm -hmm. so i'm not like i'm shocked and upset by any means i'm just kind of like this is yep this is life this is Aaron. You're like, yep, this is life this is uh <laughs> this, this is, is college it. life. Too. this is it this is college life so Tyler was like, you're not coming home and spending and she's like, I'll just drive to school every day. We're like, Aaron. Is it like two hours away? Yes. No way. We're traffic like two and a half hours. I'm like, no. Aaron, no, you can't do that. So Ty is making her pay for her own hotel room because suddenly like that, she was able to sign a lease and get in an apartment with a bunch of uh, other girls. I'm uh -huh. like, see how you Life. can like do these things mm -hmm. and like actively reach out to people, yes. have lunch with people, meet with people and figure it out. Well, you could have done that in the two weeks you were there doing nothing, 100%. vibes, mm -hmm. doing nothing, vibes, because mm -hmm. you only go to class in the day. Yeah. You have the whole night to figure it out. So, um, an afternoon and weekend. Um, mm -hmm. but anyway. Yeah. Um, it's like utilizing our time. So now she's she's found an apartment and she signed a lease, but she can't move into October first. So she's living in a hotel that she's going to pay for for the next two weeks. And I'm like, this is a great lesson. It's a life lesson. It's a, it's a great life mm -hmm. lesson. And now you have way less money than you did. And now you're gonna be alone in a hotel that you don't want to be in instead mm -hmm. of a dorm room with all your college friends. Mm -hmm. And this is because you like waited for just something to fall in place instead of actively, because this is a big deal. This is where you live. Yep. You know, can you imagine like me being like, I'll just find a place when I get to LA and like maybe my name will get signed to an apartment. Like, what right. do you mean? No, uh -huh. you have It doesn't work like that. You have to do mm -hmm. these things. So this is a really good lesson for her. Mm -hmm. Although it's like a never ending lesson for me and Ty as well. Absolutely. But you know, we're getting there and it's a learning experience for y'all too. I think we're going to go through a lot of these because we have since the day we've gotten Aaron. We've mm. gone through a lot of like learning experiences or she's gone through a lot of learning. Yeah. Aaron doesn't learn through um, verbally, like just telling it's her, experience. which a lot of teenagers don't. Like, they don't. They, they don't. literally don't. Like they think that you're crazy until it happens to them. And they're exactly. like, oh, it could happen to me too. See, so we're like, we kind of like let Aaron learn her lessons because that way she figures it out. And then the next next semester when it's time to find a place, she will we'll have learned and be like, oh, let me jump on that. You know yep. what I mean? Because mm -hmm. if I don't, I'm going to have to spend all my money on a hotel, you know? It's going to be fucked. So it's like a it's good like us lesson. going to Coachella and the Revolve Fest. <laughs> lesson, like if you, you learn, learn these lessons. lessons. It's not the same thing. No one like can saying, like, tell you. you. Learn. No one can tell you some things. You got to learn. You got to experience yourself. it, and you're like, "Oh, I can't do and that." And that's again. what I know with her. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm letting her live and An learn her lessons, and we're here for her along the way. But this is gonna be her shit. It's growing pains. It's growing. It's pains. It's like the epitome of growing pains because this is like such a big growth opportunity for her. Oh, get her, this. But it's hard. We're, Tyler's like, "You're gonna book a hotel and you're gonna pay for it." She's like, "I already lost my driver's license, so I can't." And you're like, oh. I literally looked at her. I said, hey, babe, you're going to have to pick up the pace. And she knows what that means. Oh, uh, like that's pick that's up the, the pace means, means get your fucking shit together. I'm, yep. It means I'm about to have it out with you. I, if you don't want to battle right now. Yes. I'm going to need you to pick up the pace. That's that's your warning. That's my warning. The, the, I always give her a warning. Like there's always a warning signal for Aaron before I lose it with her. Mm -hmm. There's always like, hey. Pick up the pace is literally the rattlesnake version of a like. Yep. Baby. I'm about to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. 
and she knows. So um, and she was like, about two hours later, she found her ID and booked a hotel. Ah, uh, there we go. So I was like, <laughs> there it is. You picked it there up. There it is. You picked up that pace so gorgeously. Mm-hmm. You did. Now you stay in that hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and you have fun in there. And you have fun. I'm so dead. But yeah, no, honestly, I can't even like that. It's literally the epitome of growing pains. And she's going to figure it out. Of course, it just yeah. takes such like time, especially because she's been with you guys and she's been not coddled, but you guys have helped her so much. Definitely coddled because like. I wouldn't say you guys if coddle you her. you compare. you punish her. Definitely. Coddling, a lot of times like there are people like. like get away like, with mm, anything. Like whatever. Yeah. Like you guys keep her accountable We don't for like. Things. Yeah, we make her accountable. We don't like let her get away yes. with like what she does like but when she, she fucks up doesn't have anyone accountable right now yeah when she's out there so like she how do you guys to keep accountable too we're trying to teach her to hold herself accountable yes which is yes. like the hardest lesson of all there's uh-huh. adults 40 50 years old who can't hold themselves accountable literally they need a boss to adam, tell them adam to do. Levy is one of them i mean as an instance as an you have instance, to hold yourself accountable for things yes and like you have to rely on yourself that's not what being your own boss people. means yeah like yeah. truly yeah and being your own being an entrepreneur and being your own boss like you have to make things happen because you want them to because you need to make them happen and that's like your dream and your passion to do it. Yep. You can't count on other people to do everything for you. Hashtag girl boss. Hashtag. I'm trying to turn Aaron into a girl boss and I'm going to let her make boss. a lot the of real, like The real there. term, not just like yeah. girl boss. <laughs> like girl boss. Yeah. So She'll get there. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. <sighs> she missed her first class on mm. Monday because she said she literally couldn't read the schedule mm. and she was like confused by like what MWF meant. And I was like, that means Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah. So her, we warned her to go to college cause she definitely like her high school was super easy. Yeah. And we warned her going to college. We were both it's like, be much harder. it's going to be much harder. And we both gave her a bunch of instances that we went through in college yes. and like how they can drop you out of classes. Mm-hmm. And like, you didn't tell about MWF. <laughs> I didn't tell her about MWF on the schedule. Mm, that'll take you out. We we told her everything. You know, we were like, you know, you can't do this, you can't mm. do that. You have to actually study and Access like to the web portal, all those like all and those like, things. Like, there's um, you know, you want to get to rate my professor when picking oh, classes. You don't want to just get a Find professor. Those jalapenos. Yeah, uh-huh. uh, not the jalapeno. Not the jalapeno. I you was like, those jalapenos. easiest professor <laughs> in the school. Great, I'm taking that class. Taking it, great. <laughs> But, you know, all the things. And so she walks into her class that Wednesday and she had missed the first day. And the teacher immediately calls her in front of the class and is like, why would you miss my class? And she said she was like so freaked out and embarrassed and like panicked. She just like told the truth. I'm like, wow, look at you. You told her the truth. Good job. I didn't know what it meant if I didn't come. And she goes, well, I was about to kick you out of this class and drop you. So I was like, another great life lesson. No one gives a fuck about you. you not are in college. A, not in college, babes. Maybe the professor is there. Babes, the you're fuck. just a number. You're a number. You're a number in a check, babes. Uh-huh. So they're like, get out. Buy their book. And we that's can get want. someone else in here that's going to do the work. Yeah. So she said that was like her first like. <gasps> And her then first shook moment. Um, she whenever she came home, which is so funny. Like whenever she comes home, I'm like so happy she's home. Yes. So I'm like, yay, and like, yeah, yeah, it's home. But uh-huh. at the same time, I'm like, you're not supposed to be home right now, <laughs> yeah. Aaron. Go yes. back to school. Yes. But I'm like secretly so it's like excited. Bittersweet. It's like you love it. it I love like, it. Ugh. Honestly, I would keep her there not all the time, but like if she could come home like almost every weekend, that would be That'd good be for great. me. Uh-huh. But I can't let her. But you can't. I can't yeah. let her. I really enjoy her company. Um, the more mature she is the more fun. it's even better yeah yeah absolutely but um she told me like she carries her big ass hydro flask everywhere and said she was walking up to her art class and she slipped and fell down the stairs and she said her in the auditorium class and she said her hydro flask was like dong, da, dong, 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 like flying down the stairs and she said that's your niece all right she like freaked out that's your baby <laughs> yeah, i was like that one's mine that's yours right there that's mine that's and i'm gonna stay beside him <laughs> I'm a Sam And she said she just said she was so embarrassed and like in shock that it happened. She said she just kept staring at the girl in front of her. And the girl was like, Are you okay? Are you well, <laughs> yeah. Are you? And she goes, <laughs> Are you? I'm really aneurysm? embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. She said I'm just really embarrassed, embarrassed. and I that's have to stare. Said. I'm just really embarrassed. And I have to really stare at this time. I was like, Aaron, nah. Aaron. But see, that's like. That's not her fault. She just slipped and fell. It's just so Aaron. It's so like it's just <laughs> it's so Aaron. It's so you. Yeah, it's me. It too. just hap- It just happens. People fall. It's some more than others. It's growing pains, man. Some pretend the wind's going and they. <laughs> 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 oh, 
The wind's so strong or here. Someone falls off a boat in Paris. <laughs> Things just happen. Things happen. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it's been a really fun journey. Honestly, I like our piece in pits this week. There are things happening. There has been journeys. We're like 40 minutes into the podcast now. And we Sorry, <laughs> guys. Sorry. We need to put a timestamp when Adam You know what we'll do? We'll do a timestamp for Adam We'll do a timestamp for Adam we'll, we'll put it in the description for you guys. All right. Let's jump in. Adam <sighs> Levine. His Maybe. mistress has outspoken, spoken out. So Sumner is her name. She is this woman who posted this TikTok. 19-year-old, um, I believe. So I would say girl. Yeah. She's this lady. You know, put the, posted this... Uh, she talk. looks way older than oh, 19. I, I, at first I was like, there's first no I was way like, she's 18, 19. No way. I couldn't this believe girl's it. gotta be like 26, almost 30 I thought maybe. She was, I truly, and I like, don't mean that in a shady way I whatsoever. Meant, I truly thought I was like, she's like 24. It was like my like real guess. Mm, okay, I can for see me, that, yeah. Because she wasn't wearing falsies. Yeah. So if yeah. she had falsies on, I would have been like, oh, maybe like a little bit older. Mm -hmm. She would have pushed more. But mm -hmm. I was like, oh, she must be like 23, 24. Yeah. 25 ish. So posted a TikTok and she was like, hey, like my friend is basically blackmailing me and like trying to sell this story to tmz, to TMZ. Or, or to or, whoever yeah like, she whoever, was just trying to, sell story. trying to sell the story and so she's like i'm gonna come out with it first and so she does this like entire tiktok showing screenshots of these dms that she's like basically adam levine's mistress who and adam levine is obviously a famous musician married to an victoria's secret supermodel has a lead child singer. With her. He is, I think, a, several. multiple. Several, right? Lead singer of Maroon 5 yep. was on The Voice. Mm -hmm. Is he still going to be on The Voice? Very, just, essentially, he's a very famous, famous man who is very talented. He's a rock shows, star. Yeah, he's a rock star. Shows, so she shows DMs with him like that, that he's being very flirtatious with her, talking to her. They kind of have this like emotional fling in this he's got weird two way. Children. Two children. Uh, this emotional fling. And he damn her and was like, hey, like what me and my wife want to name our next kid Sumner. It's like, okay with you. Would you be chill with that? But she said that he said that while she was getting rid of him. Like she was like, I'm done with you. I want to end this. And that's mm. what he replied with. Yeah. So Did that's she what she was saying. That would be like, oh, we were done. I think it was just said. Yeah. I think like she was just saying like kind of how he was like kind of crazy. Right. And like this is one instance where, you know, I was like ending it and like he just wasn't having that. Got it. So he it was, was just like, like another uh -huh. instance. Like of her proving like his, his craziness. And so, yeah, she comes out with this. And the thing is, what's interesting with the Internet on this one is. I, I, I can play devil's advocate because the mm -hmm. thing is, I personally Same. think they're equally just as bad. Right. Um, you knew he was married. You knew he had a baby on the way. Mm -hmm. Has she, children already. She blames this. Has a child already. Mm -hmm. She blames this on being naive in L.A. culture. So no, what's taking me out is the L.A. comment. It's the That's L.A. She really said it multiple times that, you know, she's a victim here. Essentially, she's describing she's a, herself as yeah. a victim here because I'm new to L.A. She was new to L.A. I'm, I'm a like, victim because I'm new to L.A. Mm, well, I'm pretty sure in Tennessee, Georgia, Wisconsin, North Dakota, South Dakota, New York, they're fucking people with wives. A hundred percent. And you can do that in those states too. And you can emotionally cheat as well. I also, that's why I'm like, when he, he, so he made a statement, obviously, right? And he's like, yeah, you know, I was being flirtatious with her. But I'm like, I think that was more like emotional cheating. So I watched this TikTok of this woman who like works in PR and she mm -hmm. broke down like, she was like, one, his PR team did a statement. But like, if if his PR team didn't do a statement, that means he's doing a very poor job of being a celebrity. Totally. So his PR team did a statement saying the only thing he took accountability for was over being overly flirtatious when he had a wife and she also said that the media will pick that up as a positive like yeah he was just flirtatious and he'll probably move on and like this won't do anything for him yeah he'll be just fine because um being flirtatious like and he's a rock star so that kind of behavior is really accepted among our culture of like right. men acting that way mm -hmm. and doing that oh he's a rock star oh uh, yeah so much it's temptation. fine it's fine but you know what was also interesting emily radikowski you she's also a model mm -hmm. she spoke out on this she was like you know it's like super misogynist in our culture is we stamp him with the badge of he's a rock star so we like expect this behavior and somewhat accept it right because it's expected from men rock stars, who are men. of status mm -hmm. um but women were like no 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 but at the same time i i'm like i still don't back down on being like she's no victim here 
You know what I mean? Like you should be under fire just like him. But the problem is men, Tristan Tristan Thompson, another one slipped by. They always get away with it way easier. It happens so much. It's crazy. It's expected. That's why it happens so often. Yeah. And Mm -hmm. it's expected instead of us as a society holding them accountable for their horrible behavior. We just accept it and say, oh, well, he's a rock star. I'm supposed to be shocked he cheated because it happens so it's like, often. like, yeah, actually, well, you are supposed to be shocked yes, he cheated. Yes, you like, that's are. Like and he's supposed point. to be held fucking accountable exactly. for it. He also like literally like has a supermodel wife. <laughs> like if like what? I've seen so many comments that were like, oh, my God, if if, he, if like if a, if a Victoria's Secret supermodel can be cheated on, like, of course. I can meet you on or, you know, a lot of women commenting that. And I'm like, no, literally, it's like actually crazy how like ain't no one safe out here. It feels no. like with men in the picture. No. You know what I mean? No one's safe. It's like, no one's it's, safe. it's it's sorry, Tyler, you know, I don't know. I love you. You're different. You're an exception. You know, I love you. But it's just like, I do feel like, you know, a lot of men get away with these things that are definitely cheating. Mm-hmm. But as flirtation or, oh, like he's just being like, he's just being himself. He's just a very flirtatious personality. Yeah. And it's like, mm-hmm. well, you know, when you have children and a wife like that you're still with, like there's definitely, you know, other parts to it. Right. And I like personally, I, I don't think there was much manipulation going on in this situation. I think this was just like a clear click case of the super famous, famous rock star with huge status deeming a young girl. And of course, she's going to take the bait. So the thing is to me too, like, so she made a second statement and she made another video about it. And she was like, basically like, I'm like the real people that are suffering in this are like the wife and the kids and like. You know, I'm I'm sorry this happened. Like I I moved to LA and I was so green, you know, to like the LA lifestyle. And I'm like, girl, this like LA that's crazy lifestyle, to me. I know it's, it's a facade. It's so not real. So many people in LA who have great marriages, and this is not it's the not lifestyle. The lifestyle, like this whole like facade of LA and Hollywood, like it's not real. Yeah, all of it's like fake. It's all phony. It's all a facade. Yep. And so this whole like I'm I'm new to LA culture. That's not LA culture. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. literally. A, D- a celebrity DM'd you and you DM'd me back and you regret it. That's yeah. not manipulation. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, yeah, right. He's that's not manipulating not you. you. And she even go, went on to talk a little bit about him deeming him from his verified actual famous yeah, like, account. Oh, he has a check mark though. Was a level of manipulation. I was like, that's almost being more honest in a way of like, that's even, in my opinion, was a little less manipulating. It's like, well, it's him. This is me for sure. This is who I am. Mm-hmm. And I'm DMing you. Like, it's more cut clear. But there is, I will say, on the antithesis of that, there is a power imbalance dynamic that comes totally. with that where it's like she's a young teenager he's a famous you know blue check musician yeah. like there is definitely a power imbalance and you can definitely feel like uncomfortable or feel kind of like oh shit like this fucking bitch is damn me like that's crazy this massively famous guy's damn me what you know i can understand the aspect of it of the shell shock and like the shock to the fame but that does not mean that like you know it's like a, a specific manipulation tactic for her specifically. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, again, mm-hmm. like, I feel like. Power she just balance, regrets it. yes. Power Manipulation, yes. no. And is that the same thing? I don't know. Um, well, I have no idea. But also, it just feels. Something kind of that will make you scream. I believe it's the song I'm at a paper. Uh-huh. So, in it, it's a camera spinning, and him and his wife with his wife holding his baby are in it, and he's like singing to her and like hugging all over. Her. I'm like, you fake ass bitch. You fake ass bitch. The gag to like, the why fact, you get her in your music video? Honestly. At least, at least, like treat her like you're cheating on her. Like, don't be a fake ass bitch no, for literally. using her for publicity. Like, you're in love. No, literally. And the thing is, too, you know what's crazy? I actually do feel like he does love her, but why would you do? Like, I I feel like men are just so fucking weird, and like, I think that he def- definitely like loves her and like has love for her, but the other head's talking. Yeah. And it's fucking up shit that's going on. I think up he's here. just been famous for so long. Who who even knows? Like knows? deep Honestly, down, truly. like what he really feels, because mm-hmm. it just seems like he only feels about caring about himself. Totally. Um, who knows if he even knows what love is really? I mean, like, who really knows? His yeah. behavior doesn't really show that. It just because yeah. because here's the here's the kicker. 
more girls are coming out. That's the gap. So this wasn't like a whoopsie doopsie mm-hmm. one off. This one-off. is a consistent behavior. It's, it's he felt behavior. like he needed That's to true. do. True. You know what I mean? Like he mm-hmm. needed to consistently, consistently behave this way. So it gives off like a t- very like I need attention. It also like seemed, he seemed super obsessive mm-hmm. over the girls he was talking to. Yeah. Like he was head over heels. Like he wants like that attention. He wants like the chase. I feel like he probably wants all that kind of attention that comes with like this new talking stage. But he's like, oh, well, I have a wife and kid and kids. Like so, like I, he's gonna find it elsewhere because he want he craves that. Isn't that which crazy? is horrible? And like we as a society are just like, yeah, well, it's flirtation. He's a rock star. That's like what they do. You should expect that, girl. No, you shouldn't expect that. No, if you're like, don't ever go into a situation being like, oh well, if it happens, it happens. Yeah, like no, like, no. no, that's don't, the problem. It's not good. That's the freaking problem mm-hmm. right there. So I mean, it's I'm, it's nice to see that people are definitely holding him and her accountable. They are. They are. You know, at first I was a little worried. At some first of the comments, I was, a little I was worried. like, ma'am. I was a little worried at first, and I even told Manny, like, I was you're so brave. Yeah, I was like, I'm like, Manny, is she? this is not a time for victimizing. The victim is the wife and the child. 100%. And that's it. Well, it's just like wild to me. That's so she made her statement. You know, things happen. The comments happen. Like, whatever the fuck. Everything blew up. And then the next one's very like her in like this somber tone, very like. You know, I was, I was manipulated. And it became this thing was like, oh, so you got like your ass chewed up. Yeah. And I th- I don't think she expected it. I think she just wanted to like, you know, be this like, oh my God, woe is me victim mentality almost. Yeah. When it's like, there is no woe is me when you knew that he had a wife and kids. They even have sh- pictures of her like showing her pregnant belly on her Instagram while they were talking. <gasps> Tell them about the TikTok I sent you on Twitter. Another thing which you know it's shows, not there though anymore. It's on her page. She must have taken it down. She must obviously. Have. So it was literally like a video of her. It was like a song of it, it was playing. Five, right? She used his song and she's like laying on her bed, like being cutesy. She's like, like like isn't it like when your life's so crazy? And she's playing his song. Like obviously as like an inside joke to her friends, herself and whoever else knows what's going on. Like <laughs> I'm talking to this guy who sings this song. Like what is my married. life? This is so crazy. Yeah, I was like, what is my life? So they kind of call her up like being the most non-remorseful person ever i wonder if that was posted really recently or that was like in the past that was in the past apparently on twitter i'll look look it up i didn't look i didn't i I thought that was more recent thing so i was like oh my god they were talking so it was back then what's my life like this is so crazy so she obviously like i mean i'm not gonna obviously put words during their alleged affair so she posted this during their affair yeah, so it's just like clearly shows like you didn't care at yeah, all, clearly. and you weren't like, oh no. You I know? think she cares now because she got caught up. Yeah, and I'm it was like you're only out. caring now because you got caught up in and it's coming out the sauce, you know. So we will definitely catch you guys up on what goes on and see what who else comes forward. And like the fact that they literally were like, didn't he say anything? It's like more women will be coming forward. Yes, dude. What the fuck? The floodgates have opened. The first gate of hell has opened, the and f- we are waiting for the next thirteen. <laughs> I wonder if Sumner is like, there were more? 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 I thought I was the only one. I wonder. But a lot of people think that they're the only one in situations like that. They're like, oh, I'm, oh, like, yeah. I'm the mistress. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. there's no way mm-hmm. that they're talking to anyone else mm-hmm. but me. But well, you know, it's because she was new to LA. I wonder if Adam ever thought in a million years that this was going to come out this Absolutely. way. Absolutely. I'm sure not at all. I want to know where he was. Because it came was. across like flirtatious. I just want to know where he was and what he was doing. Oh, I want to know so someone bad. Someone showed him the TikTok. I, I want to know I want to be a so fly on bad. the wall. What do you think he did? Shit himself. He went to the record album and filmed another, or what do you call it? The studio. The studio. He filmed another record. Uh, he probably hit up his wife immediately. <laughs> He's like, hey, get off TikTok. Hey, get off TikTok. Delete it now. <laughs> delete your TikTok. Like, it was like, it was just like, I can't even imagine what he was thinking because it's such a just horrible situation. This like, one's a doozy. It's a doozy, dude. It is. It is. And to be honest, not a lot's happening in the media right now. So this is catching even every harder. bit of attention that it possibly could. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's getting them good. I mean, there's things happening that we're just not talking voice. about. Huh? Because I wonder if he'll like still do the voice because of it. I think. Because you know when scandal gets big enough, like things stop. Well, I think a good breather, because he's been on for how long? I'm totally. I think a good breather for him. And maybe he can come back later. But I yeah. think we should give it a... Pause. A one-two. Why don't we get someone else in there? Yeah, I agree. Let's just refresh it. Yeah, let's get us you in know? there. All right. <laughs> I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no, they we're don't not want singers, us. so that's no. All right, next on our agenda, Tori. <gasps> 
Oh, Tory Lanes. Tory Lanes got into an altercation with August outside of a venue, I believe it was. Was it even an altercation if he literally like attacked August? He like, assaulted. does that count? Assault. It said it was an assault. It was an assault. It, it was an altercation. The reports say assault. So, the reason I want to read this up because I saw August trending on Twitter and I was like, why the fuck is August Alcina trending on Twitter? Because when I filmed Surreal Life last you year, with August. August was one of my housemates. And he is such a like chill person, like mm -hmm. in this like very zen way. He's very like calm and collected. So I was like, I can't imagine him like doing this with Tori. So when I found out it was more of an assault. And so what happened, like there was like a video clip that came out of it. So Tori and August like kind of passing by each other like this. And Tori just goes, goes like, hey, what's up, man? To shake his hand. And August just kept, kind of kept walking <gasps> and didn't really like shake his hand or do anything like that. And like, like ignored acknowledge, him, kind of ignored him in a way. And so I think he felt Tori was like, oh, I'm distracted Offended. by this. And so he went and like kind of, you know, attacked like August. Like jumped him. And like jumped him. <gasps> and as August would say, a 4'11 leprechaun got him. He said in the in the reports, he in said reports. a 4'11 leprechaun attacked him. With several of his guard friends. <laughs> With eight security guards. Uh -huh. That was. I was honestly really shocked because like the thing is, it's weird seeing this going on on Twitter and being like, oh my God, I can't believe this would happen. Like poor August. And I'm like, what about Megan Thee Stallion? Dude. When like it came out that he literally pled guilty to shooting her in the foot. And like, I didn't even people know weren't even, this like, happened it, to her until this happened, which then dug me into it, that story. It blows it up. And so it's like, how is it that, I don't know. It just gives, again, this gives such like misogynistic. Oh yeah. Like, you know, against women kind of vibes like all over again it's like oh well like why can't you just believe it happened when megan said it had happened and what had, the situation that right, we're in right so it's like so what now now you guys want to cancel tori that is so crazy it's cr she he literally shot megan this in the foot and pleaded guilty <laughs> and he's on probation and then just attacked august alcina how did i not know that she got shot in the foot like how horrible. Because I I mean, like I feel like it was big in the press at the time, but it went by so quickly mm, that it's it like by. this is not something that we should just let slip by when there's literally this a like crazy violent person yeah, out this there. This is crazy. It's literally crazy. So now the they're investigating what happened. I mean, I doubt August will press charges or anything like Honestly, that. Honestly, he should. Yeah, I, he I know. I know. Honestly, I feel like after the same he had made on his Instagram, mm -hmm. I feel like he might. Yeah. And especially because like I know like the the police are looking into it. Like they're yeah. definitely looking into the situation. I think they have that video um, that's captured it. Like what actually Everything's happened. caught on video nowadays. So now you actually have proof yeah. that having, you can't just like say it. And I remember seeing like an August statement, he was talking about how, so like August has had a lot of like health issues. And I found this out when we lived together um, that he was going through so much and like this autoimmune disease that he like didn't, he couldn't mm. even walk, you know? And so he's getting back from it and, you know, him being at where he is now, it's like, for Tori to attack him when he literally was like paralyzed for a bit oh my is just like literally like even more Adds fucked to, up yeah. than you could even possibly like imagine. So it's like, not only is he trying to be like super health conscious, August is he, so he doesn't like with monkeypox or anything going on, he doesn't like shake people's hands or like, wow. you know, have these because he has an autoimmune disease. Maybe he doesn't like Tori. Honestly, maybe, <laughs> maybe he don't maybe like you. Maybe he doesn't like Tori. We like, honestly, I don't. At so, this point, I don't. Geez. So it's like, maybe he just don't like you. Well, we'll see what transpires from there. And we'll our see. next story, the FDA has come out to warn us. Nighttime chicken has become a thing on TikTok and it's basically where people are cooking their chicken with NyQuil, which doesn't make any sense. So when you eat the chicken, you get sleepy. So it's like nighttime chicken. And they're saying like you can breathe breathe the fumes of the NyQuil cooking and that also goes into your lungs and you're like not supposed to have NyQuil in your lungs. And it's just all like a horrible recipe, which doesn't make any sense to me because I'm like, why wouldn't you just take the fucking NyQuil? Take the fucking NyQuil, <laughs> like you if, psycho. If you want to get sleepy, why cook it in your chicken? I don't understand the NyQuil chicken obsession right now. I don't understand why you're cooking with it. I don't understand why you want to eat chicken the right tastes before like bed. medicine. Yeah, why do you eat fried why, chicken? Imagine them with a bowl and they're with the, the chicken like this, shredded chicken, falling asleep at nighttime. And they're like this. <laughs> just take the NyQuil. Eat the damn It works NyQuil. better drink if it. you just drink the NyQuil. Drink the NyQuil. You guys, honestly, like it's literally crazy. I can't even believe like when I found that this is a thing, I'm like, y'all really bored at home, huh? So next up in our segment, me and Manny are going to be making some NyQuil. NyQuil chicken. <laughs> like... 
I just can't imagine. Like, does it taste like NyQuil, you think? In all my bad ideas, like, that wouldn't be one of them. No. You've right? had much better ideas than all that. Right. Much better. I, I'm like, the chicken definitely has to taste like medicine at some capacity because NyQuil is pretty strong. tasty. It's, it's pretty fucking strong. strong. I hate the taste of NyQuil, to be It's honest. sick, too, because it shows, like, a picture of chicken in a frying pan With and, like, like blue. blue NyQuil pulled out, poured all over. I'm like, that's sick. That looks so fucking foul. Like, yeah, it looks it's foul. Disgusting. Like, come on. Or just take a NyQuil gummy. Can't you just go watch the Kardashians? Like, why do you have to cook NyQuil chicken? Like, you could do literally anything That's what the else. FDA statement was. Why can't you guys just go do something else? Like, literally anything else that's... But also, like, the fact that it's NyQuil, like, you can overconsume the NyQuil. For sure. And you could, like, literally, like, really harm yourself and also consuming it I would love for in America lungs. the NyQuil bottles to now say, don't cook with chicken. Like the Tide Pods. Like, yeah. Don't eat the Tide don't Pods. Don't eat the Tide Pods. I would love that for us. I think it would be a sick joke. <laughs> and I think Nicole would be shook if they had to do that. I think, you know, things are headed in that direction. I mean, honestly, the fact, like, Nicole has so many fucking warnings on their fucking it does. thing. And I'm like, so you guys bypass all that stuff. Well, they got to add one more warning. Don't cook, cook with Nicole. Don't cook As your... Do they think it's olive oil? It's seasoning. <laughs> That's disgusting. It's marinade. <laughs> The chicken is blue. Y'all, I cannot. It's de-feathered turducken. It, it is blue chicken. Don't add it to your Green Thanksgiving turkey. Because, honey, <laughs> a turducken. A turducken. Do, do you, not add it to your turkey, duck, and chicken. Do you know turducken's a real thing where you, people you, put a boom, duck boom, in? Boom. That's sick to me. People can the get idea, mad at home that I think that's sick. I think it's sick, too. I think that, why are you shoving a bird in a bird, for God's sake? Uh, and then the third a bird. A third one. They do a third one. It's like a human centipede, but with, tur with birds. <laughs> that, and that's what y'all want to eat. Boom, boom, That's boom. what y'all want to eat. A turkey with a duck and then a chicken in the duck? Y'all can't just eat the turkey. That's what y'all want. I can't do it. I'm not. I'm actually not doing it at all with this one. Y'all took it too far. You took it too far, and we don't co-sign a turducken. We're not. I've never had a turducken, <laughs> and I probably never will. Because <laughs> I'm scared. I don't even know if you've ever, you've ever even eaten duck before. To be honest, I don't think I have. Um, I would I've had say chicken, no. and I've I had turkey. No. I don't think I've ever yeah. had duck before. Yeah, I haven't had duck. But definitely no turducken. Let me tell you that. <laughs> That's sick. To I'm me. gonna get you a quail. <laughs> Don't you dare. No, oh my I can't. God. Like any like foul bird. I can't. What's our last topic, Manny? Austin McBroom uh, gets knocked <laughs> out. Lights out. Lights out. By who who knocked him out again? Okay. They did a they did a, uh, a, a boxing match, a battle. Right here, my sticky note says his name is Ann E. <laughs> Esan Gibb. Esan Gibb. Gibb. So basically Gibb. They call him Gibb. They so call Gibb and Gibb. Austin had a battle a fight a boxing match he's from britain mm -hmm. and he knocked out austin shout in like a light like a light a like a he light. hit his button he got the button he got the button I, when he like did the like boom boom yep i he hit him right there knocked him to the ground and austin was like mm. why does tyler got a little smirk on his face like he needs to does say he something say, does, does tyler want to say something let's see on... let's see hold on no. why are you smirking i was just enjoying manny's boxing analyzing i thought that was great <laughs> he hit him on the button and then he did boom boom and then he went down to the ground <laughs> and he said la 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 and <laughs> may isn't the next commentator for youtube I boxing love that. so what he had did was he hit his button fell down knocked his teeth out and it was crazy and it was Love crazy. It. And, that was and it was crazy. And that's all that happened. Know. And that's all you really need to know about it. They took him to the hospital. There's no reports on what happened at the hospital. <gasps> I'm sure he just, well, I think they have to. Oh, you're probably right. After an, after a knockout. Like yeah, they, they actually, actually knocked him out. Like yeah. he was unconscious. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he, no, wait. He was on he the ground. He knocked out, but then he got back up. He, he didn't stay down. But it did knock down. him out. He did knock him out. Gotcha. Yeah. But he didn't stay down. Because he, he like, won the up. fight after that because it was considered a knockout. There you go. Got you good on the button. He beat his ass. Can we go back to the turducken real quick? No. Do you guys, have you guys ever had? Tyler, you've had a turducken. Tyler, Tyler, we're not Tyler have you eaten a turducken? Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> come on. We're going to end this podcast. Tyler, you've eaten a turducken? Tyler, me and Manny yeah. don't co-sign co turducken. Have you guys said putting an animal inside of another animal, you've had bacon wrapped shrimp. No, I have not. <gasps> so no, good. I have not. 
No, and I it's have good not. Have I had bacon? I have had bacon ranch. Yeah, yeah. Manny! But okay, but see, the thing is, I'm not talking about foul on foul on foul crime. Mm. I'm talking intermixing between sea and land. Mm. That's a different thing. That's like doing mm. like surf and turf. Like it's okay <laughs> if you mix land and sea. Turducken's Too much land. Not putting birds inside of birds and then cooking it. Don't. Don't. You can't do it. Don't do it. That's like eating a shark with a fish in it. Yes. Like you can't. Just eat the shark. Eat the shark or eat the fish. Like why do you need <laughs> You don't need both. all three. No, three. Three. Why do you need a turducken? There are in? people starving and we're over here shoving birds inside of birds for fun. You're literally fisting a turkey with two other birds. <laughs> and we can't co-sign and that. And we're not co-signing it. I'm so sorry. We're not going to co-sign it. And that's I'm final. co-signing that long. We're not co-signing it. We're you're not sick. having that at you're Thanksgiving. Oh, we don't even do turkey at Thanksgiving because no one in our I like I like small, turkey. immediate family likes enough to cook a whole bird. Oh, I'd like so. to actually like do the so whole thing. So we're just like, it's yeah. too much. I would have to take it is a whole work. bird down myself. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, and it's honestly <laughs> too much work. We ain't doing all that. We ain't doing all no, that. No, we're not doing that. Not about it. Not into it. Not into it. Not approved by me. And that's it for this episode of Full Coverage, guys. (laughs) Don't forget to like, rate, subscribe, comment down below what you guys' favorite part of the podcast was. We would love to hear it and know. And we guys love you guys so, so, so much. And uh, we'll catch you guys in our next podcast. Bye. Bye.